This is the new routine for millions of people in India, standing in line to deposit or exchange 500 and 1,000 rupee notes that since last week have become officially worthless. For the poor, however, it's more than just an inconvenience. Manjula Begum lives with other waste pickers in this slum on the edge of the city. We don't have anything to eat in our house. The kids want rice for lunch, but I can't give it to them. What will I do? Who do I ask for money? No one is helping us. It's a difficult situation for people living off meager daily wages, and many are angry. How are the poor benefiting? We can't even live our lives right now. Most people have old currency notes at home, but can't exchange them. No one is paying our salary either. They are paying us with old currency. What will we do with the new notes? The government is really squeezing us. Most of the people who live in this area don't have proper ID to exchange the notes or even time to stand in line. So they sit here, stuck. Not far, the politics of the decision is being played out in India's parliament. The Prime Minister is asking people to be patient with what he calls the short-term inconvenience caused by the new currency policy. But the reality on the ground is very different according to opposition politicians who are challenging what they say is a poorly planned decision. Some opposition MPs on Wednesday marched to the President's home demanding a rollback on the currency plan, saying it has affected the daily lives of hundreds of millions in the country. People are in utter distress, especially the informer. For the whole country. But the poor here feel they're paying the price for it because the money they worked hard for remains worthless. Fez Jamil Al Jazeera, New Delhi.